$23,000 Bitcoin. Got pretty close to hitting 24K. Um, unbelievable run we're on here. I've sort of been feeling all along that we'd hit 30K before any sort of, uh, you know, Fibonacci retracement level sort of pullback, like a normal Fib level where we might pull back, you know, quite a bit, 23 or 38 or the 61% retrace, God forbid. But if we go to 30K first, that's gonna hurt a lot worse, you know, maybe we go back down and hit 18, 19K. Wouldn't be the craziest thing in the world. Consolidate there and then head, uh, head higher, head, you know, to my 65K you know, financial advice target for uh, this run, which is starting to look like it might never pull back. You know, I mean, who knows? I mean, this is this stuff's very predictable, but the, the pullbacks aren't. I mean, um, they yeah, we've gotten them historically, and most assets historically pull back after huge moves like this. But um, with all the institutional FOMO now, it's going to be uh, really interesting to see what happens and um, where this goes. Um, I don't know. Not a lot of Bitcoin out there. Less than three. 3 million left on the market. Uh, I suspect 4 to 6 million lost. So, uh, you know, what is that? 4 to 6 million lost. We'll say 5 million lost. Um, 3 million, 2.5 million yet to minus 17. 3, 4, but 14 million roughly out there somewhere. At, we'll say 14 million probably on the market or 12, 12. No, yeah, 14 million. 13 to 15 million on the market. So, um, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of billionaires, a lot of millionaires, a lot of average Joes want as much Bitcoin as possible. The writing is on the wall. The dollar weaker than ever under, under, uh, drop below, uh, 0.9, uh, the dollar index, DXY, not good, not good at all. And then I, I put up the charts yesterday, 35% of the M1 money supply was put into the market, into the supply this year. Not good. So, uh, Bitcoin's the outlet. It's all over TV now. Uh, I'm going to play you guys this clip now of this CNBC anchor who seems pretty angry that he's not he's not uh, off zero. I heard before. It's some of the world's largest investors, and the allocations that they're making are right. bigger than we've ever seen before. Michael. And their time horizon for this is, is generally something over the medium to longer term. Okay, how concerned are you right now about uh, some of the things we're hearing that the Treasury Department uh, in, the, in the waning days here of this administration, the Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin may, uh, in fact, uh, effort uh, around private wallets and the like. We've heard from uh, Brian Armstrong uh, and others uh, about how, how this really could, uh, could damage the value uh, proposition of Bitcoin. It's most certainly a concern and one that, you know, we too are hearing about. But I think for investors looking at assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum, we just saw the CME group announce Ethereum futures coming out. We've seen quite so, a bit. But damaging, so they're not damaging, irrelevant? I, 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 it's, it, it, it's either really damaging because Brian Armstrong has come out and said it'd be a terrible thing, or it's not damaging because nobody seems to care. That, that's well, I think, I think policymakers are really engaged around this. These are new issues and an asset and a technology that is largely been misunderstood. These liberal talking now. heads and so stuck on the sidelines again are super angry.